There is both a reverse button and a permanent reverse option. Now, why in the world would you want to sew backwards permanently? Well, here's how we're going to use the regular button. So when you're sewing, if you just want to have a few stitches backed up, touch and hold that button until you find that's enough to lock the stitches in. A lot of people like that feature to be able to lock the stitches at the end of a seam. Now, you can actually also have the machine sew backwards for you without holding that button in place. So if you touch the I for information, you will see another symbol just like what we were touching on screen. Now, if you watch what's gonna to happen to this stitch right here, when I touch it, remember anything that is turned on is yellow and we are now seeing the stitches going up from the foot, not forward anymore. And as I'm sewing, it's just sewing backwards. So why in the world would we want that? There's been times where I have had so much fabric, a heavy project, that I did not have an extra hand to let go to hold this in place. So I could come here, touch it, put my hands back on what I was holding on to, and be able to stabilize what I'm working on. So permanent reverse as far as you need it to be. There is times where I've actually done stitches back at a certain angle and then found myself just guiding my way back there until I've reached that point where I might pivot and turn it again. So yes, this machine will sew forward and it will sew backwards.